Hi, I'll be Big Chick here. Uh, it's come to my attention that some of you guys probably don't know me at all. I'm Australian, obviously. I live on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. I've been an adult fan of LEGO for only four years. I didn't have a dark age. I didn't really play with LEGO as a kid. That was more my brother's thing. Uh, in fact, my brother's part of the reason why I got sucked into this wonderful world of LEGO. <laughs> so I wasn't one of those parents that was dragged out of the dark ages by their children loving LEGO. No, my story is really different. In fact, my brother was part of a LEGO group before me. And they had this big show and he was like, hey, you're crafty, you can make some jewelry out of Lego. I'm, you know, I'm sure that we could sell some of that and you know, you can use that for your other craft stuff that you do. At the time I was making headbands and you know, all sorts of different crafty things and selling them at markets. So he's like, you should do this, you should do this. So I did that and you know, we sold it a little bit at the show, but it really sparked my creativity and I started finding that my um, jewelry was selling better than what I'd been making before. So I was like, okay, all right, well, I'll start doing this. And then next thing you know, um, I'm finding myself a part of a Lego group of people that started doing shows with a company called Brick Events. So initially I was just gonna be a vendor for Brick Events, um, along with Bricks and Fun and my brother's store where he sold his loose bits and pieces of sets that he didn't have a use for. And that turned into a, hey, have you got anything that you could display? And I was like, well, I don't really own any Lego. Um, our son has some Lego. In fact, we bought him a whole heap of dinosaurs for Christmas last year. And the guys were like, oh, you should so, so, you could totally make a display out of that. And next thing I know, I've been talked into making a dinosaur display, which um, even with my brother's help was nothing compared to the display we have today. It, I mean, I'm completely embarrassed that I called that a display. But hey, we've all got to start somewhere. And that's what I tell everybody is that, you know, hey, you can look at what I've got, you think it's cool, but this is a four year journey I've been on. Um, don't compare yourself to that. So here was I, a brand new newbie to Lego, and I wasn't even terribly into it as such. I was still learning a lot of things, and I found myself thrust into a brand new role of creating the Queensland Lego user group as we know it today. Now, that meant that I had to do a lot of work to create content on our webpage and to put stuff on our Facebook group so that people would join and find a reason to be a part of the group. So my learning experience and researching for myself, I shared that with other people that became part of our group. So one of my other things that I really enjoy doing is taking photos. Um, surprise, surprise, if you've seen any of my other videos, uh, I do take a lot of photos and that's kind of what tipped me over into YouTube and doing stuff on YouTube. I've been a passive viewer for very many years here on YouTube and um, even after I met Down Under Bricks at the Melbourne uh, Brickvention last year, I still wasn't overly interested in, in becoming a YouTuber. That was more my brother's thing and he sort of dropped that for a while to concentrate on building and shows and stuff like that. So Brickvention's where I got hooked on Micropolis. We would have loved to have taken our dinosaur park there, but given the size of it and the fact that it comes in these massive crates that need to be trucked, it wasn't gonna happen. So we opted for a collaborative build build a few blocks for Micropolis, shoved them in our suitcases and off we went. And we went to Melbourne and we met Down Under Bricks and a whole bunch of other people and had a really amazing time. I mean, as an experience, it was absolutely fabulous to meet so many people from around Australia that 
I otherwise wouldn't come across because nobody comes to Queensland. We keep inviting them, but they don't come. Um, so yeah, there's that. And that turned into an obsession. So I encouraged my leg to build my Acropolis so that we can build our own city, which we named Brook Spain. Um, and I kind of got carried away. Uh, turned out a lot of that city was my stuff. <laughs> when we unpacked it at the very last show last year, it dawned on me how much of it was mine. So how does that relate to how I ended up on YouTube? You know, somebody who, I'm usually the person behind the camera, I'm pretty shy. Um, if you meet me, I put on a good brave face in public, but I'm not really an outgoing type A personality. So, you know, how does somebody who's as shy as me end up on YouTube? I have no idea. But um, I, I made some friends that were making Micropolis and an easy way to show them stuff was to videotape stuff. So I would videotape it and put it on YouTube and just share it privately, you know, not wanting to, you know, make any money or gain any views or popularity or anything like that. And yeah, the next thing I know, I'm doing that more often. The funny thing is, is that I actually went on a Lego live stream community chat called the AP stream before I'd ever started substantially making videos on YouTube at all. In fact, um, my YouTube channel name was just my name because that's what Google does and um, it wasn't until I'd been on that chat for a couple of times so I was like well maybe I should actually make some content so that you know people who want to get to know me can actually go and look at my channel and see stuff so I looked at my albums of photos that I've taken over all the shows that I've been doing and I've done a lot of shows um, I think I'm up to 16, 17 shows in four years, um, which is a lot apparently. <laughs> so um, I took some of these photos and, and um, turned them into videos, slideshows, and it's been a massive learning curve, but I think I'm doing okay. Um, I went and I invested in some software eventually um, rather than just using free stuff so that I could use a few more features that the free software doesn't particularly have and here I am talking to you guys. Um, yeah, if you told me a year ago that I would be making videos for YouTube I would have called you crazy. Just like I would have called you crazy four years ago if you told me that I was going to help start a lug that would have, you know, so many members all over the state. That's pretty much most of my story. Um, I haven't gone into too many, like, gory details. So if there's anything that you'd like to know about me, about um, what I'm into or where my inspirations come from, uh, things that you would like to see me um, try or things you would like to learn. Um, we can learn them together if we have to. I mean, I'm no uh, stretch of the imagination and a Lego expert. Uh, but I have been immersed in it for about four years and surrounded by a lot of um, very, very talented and experienced people who I've been able to draw um, uh, inspiration from and um, you know, build my confidence in, in building stuff. You know, four years ago, I couldn't even bother trying. Now I just go, oh well, what the hell, let's go, let's do this. So um, yeah, thanks for watching this guys, um, <laughs> I hope I haven't bored you with my story. <laughs> um, I've had an interesting journey, I've met so many awesome people along the way and um, Lego is my creative outlet, uh, my one creative outlet because everything's fallen to the wayside now, um, other than you know, photographing and, and, and video, videoing things. 
So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe, because I would really love to get to at least 100 subscribers one day. And um, keep on building. <laughs> I'll see you another day.